Hello everybody, this is Lice for Nexus. Welcome back to more Let's Play Tales of Vesperia. We've got a skit. Wow, Rita, you look different than you usually do. You look cute. Are you saying I normally don't look cute? N no, that's not what I meant. Well, it's not like I care anyway. Hey, Yuri, you think she looks cute, right? Don't you? Huh? Yeah. I like those cat ears, I guess. Just the ears? Oh, come on, Yuri, why are you being so shy? Your face is turning red. The ears are the problem. What's that supposed to mean? Anyway, uh, the reason why that skit popped up is because I went on the Xbox Live Marketplace and I bought some stuff. Uh, first off, bought another level up, uh, plus ten. Or I bought a level up plus ten. And, um, quick note, you can buy three of these... You can buy and download three of these per file, as well as level up fives and um, gold plus, or um, and um, three hundred thousand. Yes, three hundred thousand gold. You can purchase each of those only three times. You can purchase uh, three of them, but you can only use them. You can only use those once per file. Each of them. So anyway, also what what I got on the Xbox Marketplace was one. We got, uh, Kitty Cat Waitress for, uh, Rita, which I find absolutely adorable. Uh, Fashionista, which, eh, it's iffy. It's kind of like Yuri's, uh, it's kind of like Yuri's, uh, tank top lover. It's not really, eh. It's just... Anyway, uh, then there's Seeker, which I very much enjoy. I really like the way this looks a lot. I remember that pink part back there being blue. Huh. Well, I just confused myself a lot. I think I'm actually going to leave Seeker on. Actually, I don't know. This is so adorable. This is absolutely adorable. She's a fucking tail. Her book is hanging from the tail on the back of her dress. That is so cute. She looks like, so adorable. Actually, I didn't even check what she has here. Oh, Mystic Gem. Sacred Rope. Oh, I could have synthesized these. Oh, wait. <laughs> yes, there we go. There is Rita. That is Rita Moria for you. That's how she's going to look for the entire rest of the game. As for Stelise, uh, we got Glorious Waitress, which I like this a lot. She looks adorable. Uh, we also got a uh, Dedicated Paramedic and uh, Massage Therapist. As for attachments, we got Tiara. Glasses, which you can't see. And I find glasses very attractive. Then we have angel outfit. Oh, she's so adorable. So we have devil out so the angel outfit and the devil outfit for these two. Yeah, that's going to be fun. And Yuri. I'm I'm debating over whether I want to put the cap on or not cuz you can't even see his face really. I'm just going to leave the canteen on. So anyway, uh, we're gonna head out of here. Oh, crap. Actually, let me check my, uh... Our combo... Wait, no. I need Hit Plus. Uh, Hit Plus still needs a ways to go, but, um... Either way... Uh... I think I... Yeah! I still have her set to, uh... Yeah, I still have her set to, um... <laughs> manual, because, um... Fun, funny story. Uh, after I beat that boss and ended the session, I forgot to save, actually, so I had to go fight the boss again, but I recruited the help of my little brother again, which is ironic, because the last time I did that was actually the same boss, just different name. Remember the Dreaded Giant? I had to get help from my little brother to beat it. 
Same with Gucio Society, though I didn't really need help. I kind of just wanted to to get it done quickly. And, uh, fun, funny story, actually. Okay, well, Rita just learned something. Uh, real quick, I want to point out. He got me the secret, he got me the secret mission for Gucio's by complete accident. So, yeah. Wait, is this? Oh, yes! She learned Tidal Wave! Now she is... Rita is now the most broken character ever. So his family was killed by the Antelikea. Clint, was it? The grudge he's got against them won't fade anytime soon. Maybe he has his reasons, but I think just hunting monsters has been his purpose for a while. I was like him once. I only lived to destroy Blastia. Then maybe he can still change, like you did, Judith. I don't know. Either way, we've got our own goals to worry about. Right, Carol? Huh? Yeah, you're right! Alright, so there's something else I was gonna say, but I don't remember. Um... Carol, I need your assistance. Oh yeah, about Rita, and uh, how she's broken as all hell. I'm actually gonna show... no. I'm gonna show that off real quick. Tidal Wave. What's in here? Oh, Lemon Gels. Alright. Alright, you know what? Uh, you're a good opponent to test this on. Alright, so immediately, so immediately I'm going to go in here. So no casting time on Tidal Wave and it hits everything on the field. Look at this! And look at that! Ha! Absolutely broken as all hell. That is Rita Mordio. Fucking broken as all Christ. And I love it. I'm never doing it though, because um it's kinda cheap. But if I really need to, I will do that. Cause it's so much fun actually. I need to go this way. Hmm. Oh Goosey turned into gnome safe and sound. That's a load off. Yes. It would have been tragic if he'd transformed into an autophagos. Yeah, he's just fulfilling the role he was meant to play. I doubt he ever thought that his transformation might have caused the cataclysm itself. I feel for the poor Entelikea who became autophagos in the past. If only they'd had the option of spirit conversion. Young lady, don't dwell too much on all the what-ifs. Maybe they didn't have a choice. But those who became autophagos are trying to devour this world. That is the reality. I know. But it's just so sad. Alright. Well then, um... Oh, crap. So, as far as I can tell, there are three Antilokea left. The ones... The one, uh... The one that they mentioned before, the one that, uh, is south of, uh, Zophius. Um, Baul and Pharaoh, and since I'm pretty sure Baul is not going to become a spirit, um, I can only assume that the uh, Wind Spirit is going to be the one south of Zophius, and that Pharaoh will be the Fire Spirit. So I I'm guessing, though. God damn. Alright, let's get out of here now. So Area Lumen is something Gusio's created. Right. I remember seeing a similar crystal back at Kerbakra. Yeah, you were pretty absorbed in that thing. The Rita radar never lets any objects of interest go undetected. Oh, I forgot. If Gusios undergoes spirit conversion, I won't be able to investigate him. There goes the Rita radar. Don't get carried away now. Aw. Oh well. <laughs> Fucking idiot. I love when the enemies just turn away from you as you're walking by and they just don't see you at all. Oh, and also, um... I have about 10,000, I have about, um, 1,000 Microsoft points left, so if need be in the future, I can still purchase two more level up 10s and a level up 5 if need be, so I don't know where, I don't know why I brought that up, but I just, I think I just remember that I had more Microsoft points left over and I could have bought, uh, Ra Raven and Carol's costumes, and I think Carol actually gets a costume that, uh, makes him look like Lloyd 
from uh, Tales of Symphonia, and then another one that makes him look like Klonoa. Because Klonoa was made by the same company, uh, was made by um, Bandai Namco, just like the Tales games were. How am I doing on items? Surprisingly well, actually, after fighting a boss, I'm doing surprisingly well. That's really funny. Well, not life bottles, but fuck, I didn't mean to do that. What did I do? Why is it facing... Am I supposed to be going in this direction? Or does this just face me north? I think it just faces me north. Was Gusios and Kerbakram in order to feed on the air? Yes. That's how the hunting blades managed to trap him in the reverse barrier. So is that what you and Baal were doing there, Judy? Did you go to save Gusios? Not originally. We went there to destroy the Hermes Blastia, creating the reverse barrier. Besides, in the end I was unable to save Gusios. He wasn't allowed to decide whether he was for or against becoming a spirit. It's not your fault. There was nothing else you could have done. We won't let his sacrifice be for nothing. We'll use the spirits well and defeat the Autophagos. Right. Yes. Baul says that aside from spirit conversion, he will do everything in his power to aid us. I'm glad he's on our side. So am I. I really do like Baul. Actually, I'm gonna go this direction because I want to try that scene again with, uh... Baul over near Temza, because it's supposed to just fly over Mount Temza and get the scene, but it doesn't seem to work whenever I try it. Yeah, see, it's just like, nope. Oh! It feels like it was ages ago that I left. <laughs> you feel the same way, Baul? You talking with Baul? Yeah, we were just remembering the time that we first met. Would you mind telling me about it? A long time ago, Baul used to live on, on the summit of Mount Temza. The townspeople all feared him. They thought of him as a giant, ferocious monster. But I talked to Baul, and eventually we became friends. How about old... About how old were you then? I don't remember exactly, but I think I was pretty young. From, the point, from that point on, we started traveling together. My dad came too. Your father did? My dad had a fierce passion for Blastia. I feel I was, I feel like I was the was influenced a lot by him as I grew up. Soon after that, the Great War happened. I was about to become a. S I was about to become a statistic, but then Baul saved me. You were right in the middle of the battle, weren't you? Yes, my fellow Critians took me up on, took me up into Miorzo for a while. But I went back down to the surface. And then I decided to travel around the planet with Baul to destroy all of the Hermes Blastia and rid the world of its negative effects. I see. So Baul saved your life. Yes. I feel like I underestimated the connection between you two. I think I. I feel like I understand the connection between you two a lot better now. Thanks for sharing that with me. Dad. Alright, well, with that scene out of the way, we can actually now head to Miorzo and participate in a side quest called the Dragon Race. And by completing the level 3 Dragon Race, we actually get the ability to land in more places because, well, Baul gets an upgrade, and we're able to land in different places, one of which these places... Uh, houses an enemy called, I believe, Gentlemen is what they're called, and uh, chaining about three of them together can get you about 8,000 experience of battle. And considering the fact, and uh, 8,000 is actually pretty much a lot, considering the fact that every level up is about 25,000. We gotta come over here and talk to you. A dragon came, to, came into our city. Do you know who he belongs to? He's my friend. His name is Baul. Cool. 
He's pretty big, but he's still a small fry compared to Kronos. Is that Kronos or is that, uh, Krones? I'm just gonna say Krones. Krones? Who's that? Where? He's right here, silly. Kronos is the Antelope who protects our city. You mean this big old jellyfish? He's not a jellyfish, mister. Show some respect. Kronos is so big. I can't believe an entire city could fit inside an Antelokea. Yeah, cool, huh? Even your Baul can fit inside. His name is Baul. What did he say? I completely, I completely read that wrong. Whatever. Who cares? Kron Kronos is better any or er, is way better. You know, you're really, you know, you're pretty. You've got a pretty smart mouth, kid. Just who do you think you are? What do you mean? I'm just telling the truth. Judith, say something to him. And all Antelokea have their roles to play. There's no such thing as one of them being better than another. Ha, <laughs> you're just saying that because you don't want to admit that your Antelokea has already lost. Baul hasn't, Baul hasn't lost anything. If you're so eager, let's settle this right now. My pleasure. You better not cry once... You better not cry once you get beaten. Judith, let's do this. Oh, so I have to back up your challenge? What a pain in the rear. We'll compete in a race that I made up. Lots of lots of points are floating in the sky and you win by collecting them all. Give it give it your best shot. Oh boy, confirm rules. Control ball to collect points in the air. Collect all ten points within the all the time to clear the game. There are two types of points, red points and yellow points. Red points give you a time bonus. Collect the collect red points to take you to lower your overall time. To clear the game. Try to clear the game in the least amount possible. Alright. Stage 1! 3, 2, 1, go! Alright. This doesn't seem too hard, actually. Considering the fact that I've gotten used to controlling Baul from all the times I've gone flying around looking for absolute bullshit. I need one more, which is right over here. Oh! Oh! Cleared! Fuck you! I cleared the best time under... That's less than a second better. That is less than half of a second better. Less than a quarter of a second of, a, of better. That's like... About... Fifth of a second better than the best time. Eat it. What do you think? Cool, huh? That's not all there is either. I've got even bigger courses to show you. Yeah, let's race again. Now we're gonna take on level three or level two. Luckily, it's during the daytime, so. Stage two! Three, two, one, go! Now my strategy is don't even use the um, don't even use the uh, left analog stick to move. Just use the uh, well, when you need to make a sharp turn, use it. But typically, I just like using the uh, the uh, the camera controls to turn bubble. All right, where are the rest of them? Well, I already lost this one, I can tell you that much. Oh. We're, like, way out here. Frick. Okay, so I know they're really far out there. Alright. Three, two, one, go. I'm gonna keep doing this, by the way, until I actually succeed. Ring, red ring. Come on, just oh, I got it. 
Clear! Level 3. Stage 3. 3, 2, 1, go! Oh, I almost missed that one. Alright, let's grab you. Let's grab this one right here. Luckily, you don't have to grab them in order. Like, there's no specific order you have to go in. Because if so, that would suck immensely. And I've got this. There's no way I don't got this. Cleared! What the? I never thought you'd be able to beat that. What now, kid? Admit defeat. No way. I still got more for you. Jeez, this kid doesn't know when to give up. That reminds me of someone. But I admit, you did very well to come. Th you did well to come this far. Hey, you said something nice for once. Here, this is for you. What's this? It's condensed dews from Cronus's from Cronus's body fluids. You can give it to Baul to drink. Ball. It's Baul. What'll happen when he drinks it? If a dragon is weak against the cold, drinking it will make him stronger against it. He'll be able to land on top of ice drifts too. Wow, you really you don't mind giving giving us something so useful? Just don't go running just don't just don't go running away because you got a nice prize. So I'm gonna make you even because I'm gonna make you an even harder course. Ha, huh, to your worst. Why Rita's act Why is Rita acting or that's Raven. Why is Rita acting as the go between any go between again? Alright. So with that, we can land. I guess that's so we can land on uh, Zophir, which is I, which I guess is probably where uh, those monsters are. A book in the warehouse said this city rose into the air at the end of the Goryeo civilization. Hmm. So that would mean it was on land before that happened. That part wasn't clear, but I think the city was probably floating on the ocean until then. Oh, so that's why it got eaten by a giant jellyfish. I don't think that's quite what happened. Huh. Alright. Wait. Am I actually able to use that? I don't think so.